what is going on youtube in today's video we're going to be looking over the free to play event exclusive weapon that we do gain in this patch and that is the oath sworn eye catalyst now the design of this weapon and the lore behind it screams kokomi but i do want to test if it's actually very viable on her compared to its free to play counterpart the prototype amp as Kokomi really relies on HP and this having a substat of attack percentage instead of HP seems kind of weird in a way. I have been playing Kokomi ever since her release. If you want to check out my C6 main DPS Kokomi video, I will link it in the description below. Now the Oathsworn Eye has a base attack of 497 and attack substat of 25.1%. At level 80. At R2, its passive is it increases energy recharge by 30% for 10 seconds after using an elemental skill. Now, having a subset of attack percentage on Kokomi is a little weird. The Albedo weapon that had a defense subset that only worked with Albedo and without him the weapon was essentially useless. This weapon works on many catalysts like Klee, you are it's able to use it so on heavy. Ningguang, Yanfei, at Lisa, Sucrose, and the new 5-star Catalyst, Ye, as well, and it's actually really, really good on Ye Miko, as she does have some energy issues. But, this question stands still, is this weapon good on Kokomi, and that is what we will be testing out, by comparing it to its free-to-play counterpart, like I said earlier, the Prototype Amber. Now, I also have the Prototype Amber at R2. You do need Prototype Drops for it. You do have to keep that in mind. You will get the Oath Sworn Eye at R5 easier just by doing the event. Base attack is 449, HP 37.7%. The passive is actually pretty great. Using an elemental burst regenerates 4.5 energy every 2 seconds for 6 seconds. All party members will regenerate 4.5% HP every 2 seconds for this duration. Now with the prototype Amber, my Kokomi has a 35,747 HP attack at 1243 and with the Oath Sworn Eye, if I do switch it out, I have a 30k HP with 1,488 attack. Now, for this showcase, I will be using a 4-piece Heart of Death set, as I already have formed so much for it, and I have great substats. Now, with the Prototype Amber, I would actually switch this off to a 4-piece Clam set, just because Kokomi will be healing more since it has an HP substat, plus the passive of the weapon itself. But for this showcase, I will be sticking with the same set for both weapons. And of course, she is C6. Now, our first victim is going to be the animal hypostasis. <laughs> so, for her burst, each normal attack roughly does around 86. 8,000 damage. From her normal attack outside her burst does around 1,400 damage. Alright, we're going to go back and we're going to be doing this time with the prototype Amber. Her normal attacks are roughly 1,300, a little bit less than the previous one, but now, as you can see, her attacks are doing 10k instead of 8k damage each, which is a significant damage upgrade. And as well, if you can see her energy burst, she's getting roughly the same amount of energy back that she was with the Oathsorn Eye. We're going to be testing this on the Primo Bishop next. Now, for her, the Oathsworn Eye, she is doing around 1,400 to 2,000 damage for her normal attack outside her burst, and with her burst, it's still 8,600. Now, if you look at the energy recharge, again, it's gonna be almost 100% of her energy back. Allow me. 
Now going back to the Primo Geo Bishop with the prototype Amber on her, her normal attacks outside her burst are doing about 1000-1200 damage. With her burst however, she is doing around 9000 to 10,000 damage, so a very significant difference from the Old Sworn Eye in her burst. Now if you look at her energy recharge on her ult, she almost has it as well. It is a little bit less than the Old Sworn Eye. Now let's go ahead and test the healing on Kokomi with the Old Sworn Eye. The Old Sworn Eye does have an attack percent subset, so it is going to be a little bit less than the prototype Amber. Now below 50% HP, Kokomi heals almost around 8k, and above 50% she heals almost 6k. So now going into the prototype Amber now. Healing to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. Below 50% HP, Kokomi is healing. 9,000 and above 50% she is healing around 6,000. So there you have a very significant difference. My closing thoughts on the weapons. So as you can see the prototype Amber beats out the Old Sworn Eye on damage and healing. The Old Sworn Eye beats out the prototype Amber but by only a little bit of energy recharge. The prototype Amber you still gain energy back plus a little bit more healing through its passive. Now, it's a good and a bad thing. The bad thing is that weapon was made for Kokomi, the design-wise and lore-wise, but the good thing is you can give that amazing catalyst to another catalyst user, such as Ye, Sucrose if you want, Klee, whatever you like. It frees up that catalyst to be used on another catalyst user while maintaining another free-to-play weapon that is very viable to Kokomi still gaining that damage still getting that healing thank you so much for watching i really enjoyed making this video if you are pulling for kokomi best of luck to you and i hope to see you on my next video thank you